Hi, my name is Van Gato. I'm here with Coach Malachi Allgood, and we are here talking about cross country. So during your bye week and prior to our previous Coaches Weeklies, we talked about how you will impact the team through the mental aspect in training. Mm -hmm. So during your bye week and off the strong performance that happened at the North Central Invite, how are you improving on the mental aspect with so many PRs? Truthfully, we just want to build their confidence. You know, right now, I really need them to be just living for the fame. Um, I think that the mental aspect of our sport is incredibly important because it's more than half of it at the end of the day. Just making sure that they're mentally prepared for the duress they're about to put their bodies under is a huge factor when it comes to the results sheet at the end of the race. Mm -hmm. And this weekend and at the North Central Invite, um, you and multiple racers finish right next to each other. How do you feel about friendly competition within the cross-country team? It always makes me wonder if there are more comments from the peanuts than the gallery, but I think that it's good that you're helping pull your teammates across the finish line, um, kind of using that aspect of the team to make it less of an individual sport and more of a team sport. Mm -hmm. And you have multiple runners leading the pack. You have Ariel Martinez, Mauricio, Tegan Ose. How do you feel about how they will set the pack for these freshmen on the team? And at the North Central Invite, Two of your uh, girls runners had those PRs, so how, do, how are they going to carry that over at the Warrior Invitational? I'm really hoping it's just lead by example. Um, I really want them to be able to put themselves in that position, the freshmen, I mean, and know that if they need a hero, they just have to look in the mirror. Um, I think that it's all about really finding that in yourself, and I think Tegan, Ariel, and Mo. Um, can kind of lead by that example and just show these are the right steps that you have to take to get to this position and hopefully the freshmen emulate that. Mm -hmm. And Martinez and Mauricio usually are the top finishers of the pack. How are you going to work with them to get to that either top five spot for Ariel Martinez and for Mauricio get past that uh, top 20 into the top 10s? So as the athletes become more refined, obviously personal bests become fewer and far between or the increments become a little bit smaller. And it's really just about fine tuning the aspects of their running, right? You get a good base going and then from there you see where their weaknesses are and you continually assess and see how we can improve as we go along with the season. And uh, at the uh, North Central Invitational, many of your runners on the women's side had top finishes which allowed them to receive third at the uh, race. How do you con will continue to improve on that for the, uh, the Warrior Invitational? Really, um, a lot of it came down to last weekend being a little bit of a tough meet, bit of a tougher course. Uh, I really got to see what they were made of, and now that we're going to a much flatter course this coming weekend up in West Dallas, um, hopefully that you know carries a little bit of confidence, right? They're gonna immediately get out there and go, okay, this is a completely different ball game. They've kind of hit the crux of the season with last weekend at Parkside, and um, hopefully that momentum just really helps them move forward and kind of push past the difficult parts of it and really see the fruits of their labor. And compared to the Lucian Rose Invitational, how will the Warrior in, uh, Invite compare to that race? For the returners, it's a course they're familiar with. It's a conference preview too. We're racing there twice this season, this Saturday, and then on October 28th. Um, so it's kind of familiarity. Um, it's a course that I'm a huge fan of. And so understanding the course a little better because uh, Lucy and Rosa was one that a lot of the team had never been to. Um, familiarity plays a huge role in that. Just knowing kind of when to go here, when to run the tangent here, you're going to get bottlenecked here. All of those play very, very small factors that build up to a much larger result at the end of the day. And how will you prepare the underclassmen for this new field that they're running at? Follow the leader. It's look up to your upperclassmen, look up to your captains, and just follow their example. Stick to them, see Maroon, and keep going. My name has been Van Gato, and this has been All Good, and this is your Coaches Weekly.